All right, so what are our talking points going to be for this one? Um, I just think that because me and you have kind of different experiences, that we just need to speak freely and let the people know what our own experiences are. Okay. Actually, what I just said needs to be in the video. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Siri. And I'm Dr. Ava, and we are Sisters in Medicine. Today we wanted to bring you all the highly requested video about dating in medicine. So we don't really have a format. Dr. Siri and I both have different experiences, but ultimately we have the same goal. I think we're just going to speak freely. She's going to ask me questions, I'm going to ask her questions, and we're going to let you guys know what our experience is and what we recommend. Dr. Ava. When did you start dating your husband? Was it in medical school? Was it in residency? Did you date in medical school or no? Nah? I did it a little bit in medical school, but I was mainly focused on my studies. Honestly, I didn't really have time. I was so busy. I had no time even for myself. So dating in medical school was really not my priority. I wasn't that interested. I really started dating a little more seriously in residency. And I met my husband while I was in residency. So, yeah, we dated throughout residency. And um, I got married while I was in residency, too. <laughs> what was your experience with dating your husband? Was it medical school or residency for you? So, we met in residency. We met a few months into my residency. In medical school, I dated and I tried to date seriously, but it did not work for me. <laughs> <laughs> have so much going on you're studying all the time and at that time it was a long distance situation which was a mistake I wouldn't recommend that for anyone so just learning from my own mistakes I would say if anyone is thinking about dating while in medical school please reconsider especially if you're going to try to date seriously in medical school but for me I got out of that relationship finished medical school that's a residency and then that's when I met my husband and felt like you know okay I have a little bit more time on my hands even though it wasn't a lot more time so we started dating and it worked out my advice is this if you could wait I think you should wait because um, your priorities in medical school are not the same as your priorities in residency or even after residency so med school is so <sighs> It's so much material and it's so much stuff to cover that you're probably not even going to be able to give your relationship um, the time that it deserves. Focus on finishing great, passing your exams, you know, not stressing about a relationship. And then while you're in residency, maybe you can consider dating a little more seriously. Um, and that's what I did. And I'm, I'm guessing from what you just said, that's what you did, too. Yes, and I am very happy with that decision. I don't have any regrets at all. Do you? No regrets, no regrets. I mean, in residency, dating on top of adding the work hours and the studying and all that, my schedule was full, but at least I had time to be able to dedicate to the person that I was dating. So that brings me to this. There was a post made on The Shade Room by Kevin McCall. <sighs> I don't even know where to start. But I wanted to ask you, one, did you see the post? And two, do you have any comments on what he said on the post? So yes and yes. <laughs> the the black community right now is, is a dating issue and a parenting issue. Uh, specifically with black women because my mother was a black woman. Women, I got to stop putting this white man in this job before your family, before yourself. Before your destiny and before your children. And then you wonder why niggas can't really, you know, rock with you like that. Because you're trying to do our job. See, I'm a nigga, I don't really need nothing. I, I'd be a bum if it, if it really was up to me. I don't believe in money and shit. So the only reason I got racks is for my wife. But if you're busy working, trying to do what I did, I'm the one who wrote deuces so I can make, so we can have a mansion one day. You feel me? But if you're busy working, I can't never get to know you. And I'm trying to cover up this little pimple I got. You know what I'm saying? My mom was so busy trying to show me love working that she never was home. I hope my fiance don't make that same mistake. Who is he? And how is 
he somehow the expert on what women need to be doing? Who says that my boss is a white man? What if it's a woman? What if it's a black woman? What if it's a black man? Newsflash for him, a lot of dudes are bums, okay? I just wanna throw that out there. And so for that reason, women in general have had to step up and play that role. But I think that these messages that men are putting out there about women being too independent or too career focused or whatever, I think they are very confusing to younger girls who are hearing it and they don't know what what's expected of them. Am I supposed to aspire to be this housewife that's taking care of a man, you know, from the home standpoint, or am I supposed to be this Miss Independent who can take care of my own household? It's very confusing. All I have to say to Kevin McCall is be quiet. And to the young ladies out there, please do not listen to Kevin McCall. What do you think about the post? Well, everything you said was on point. I just think that it's 2018 and us women have to be empowered to want to be and to want to do what we want to be and what we want to do. Every single one of us is constantly being judged, especially black women. We are judged every single day, 24-7 on how we look, what we wear, how our hair is, how we talk, our bodies, uh, what we're doing at home, not doing career-wise. It's always constant bashing and constant talk and constant negativity. I think that in 2017, we as women, especially minority women, need to take control of our own lives. We need to decide for ourselves what we want to do with our lives. And if that is staying at home, that's fine too. If that is being a full-time career woman, that's fine too. Whatever you want to do should be your own decision, not the decision of a man. He, he said so many things. You talked about a few of them, but there's one thing that he said that I want to bring up, and it's this. He said so many women are putting, putting their career and their work first instead of their kids and their family. That kind of struck a nerve to me. I know. <laughs> now, I'm a working mother. I have children. I have a husband who's very, very supportive of me, my dreams, my career. He's very supportive financially, emotionally. That's good for me. But there are a lot of women out there who don't have that. They are single parents. They have fathers for their children that are not helping out financially, emotionally. Some of these fathers are either dead or in jail and they don't have a choice they have to get up every day and go to work to feed their kids put a roof on top of their head you know do everything that their kids need clothing school fees whatever is needed these women don't have a choice they have to go to work and grind and work to provide for the children that are not being taken care of like right by fathers that don't want to take care of their children so a lot of that is not really by choice and so for him to say something this ignorant just doesn't make sense to me like you said go sit down and have several feet somewhere okay i 100 percent agree with that and like at the end of the day it is all about teamwork at the end of the day whatever that means if one of you is staying home with the kids and one of you is working or both of you are working a team, whatever that means. And I think that that's how people should look at relationships in this day and age instead of how he's looking at them. In conclusion, <laughs> dating in medicine or dating in any career that you may have, if your career is your passion and your career is your ultimate goal, then you can put that first, even if you have to put that first temporarily until you reach your goal or until you find somebody who's going to be supportive of you. Go for it. There's nothing wrong with that. If you have any more questions, let us know what you want to hear about. We'll talk about it. We'll discuss it. We'll address your questions. We're happy to do that. So until next time, everyone. Bye. Bye.